Brake controllers are a necessary part of any haul. Without them, well, there are many different ones to choose from, so let's break this down and make your choice easier. Here we have two different types, proportional and time actuated. Let's start by explaining the proportional brake controllers. Here is the Tecantra Voyager. Inside is a sensor that determines the deceleration of your vehicle. Because the sensor detects motion, it needs to be mounted in a certain way. The sensor will activate the trailer's brakes evenly with the vehicle's brakes by detecting just how quickly the vehicle is decelerating, whether it's a slow stop or a sudden stop. Proportional controllers are quick and easy to install. When properly calibrated, it will increase braking efficiency and reduce the wear on the trailer's brakes. Now let's move on to time actuated brake controllers, which are also referred to as time delayed or solid state. This is the Drawtight Activator 4, a popular timed controller. These controllers can be mounted at any angle, as they do not have motion sensors built in. You can adjust the amount of power being sent to the trailer's brakes, and how quickly the trailer's brakes will activate. These controllers are great for customization, but just remember to change your settings depending on how heavy your haul is. Alright, if you're having trouble deciding on a controller, here's a suggestion, the Takancha P3. It's the top of the line proportional controller, and comes from one of our most trusted brands. It can support one to four axles and is highly customizable. All right, now you should know a little bit more about which type of brake controller you should use. If you have any more questions, please check out our videos of each brake controller on trailerparts.com.